few weeks ago, I posted a screenshot of this crab boy right here. Some of you are speculating if Damia Hermitar is returning, but here we are, our crab boy is back. If you're new to the series, don't worry, I'll share you more about Damia Hermitar. A bit of a background, Damia Hermitar is one of the beloved monsters of the second gen series. And in this video, I'll be sharing you some awesome things that you could expect from this returning monster. Okay, let's begin. Is Damia Hermitar armor good or bad? What about the weapon stats? What's the hunting experience going to be like? Lastly, what master rank difficulty is Diamio Hermitar going to be on? Let's first start off with Diamio Hermitar's set. In Monster Hunter Freedom Unite, Diamio Hermitar G rank, or should I say master rank, armor set looks something like this. It's the good old red tinted color. However, in Monster Hunter 4U and in GU, they updated Diamio Hermitar's armor color to something like this. The male armor looks something like a football player, and the female armor is like a cheerleader. Now let's get into the stat. In Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate, these are the armor skills. We have Guard, Defense, Razor Sharp, Ballistics, and Recoil Down. I'd say Diamio Hermitar armor is good if you plan on mixing it up with other armor sets. Now as for Diamio Hermitar's weapon, here's what the weapons look like. Unfortunately, in the old generation, it doesn't have every weapon for other weapon types, but I think they'll just add those on Sunbreak. In terms of the weapon stats, these weapon stats are are based on Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate, Tiamio Hermitar's weapons are averaging on 310 raw to 330 raw. By default, it has decent white sharpness and purple with handicraft for some of the weapons. Some of the weapon types have 26 to 27 water element, some weapons don't. It even has bonus defense stats averaging on 20 to 42. Some of the weapons have good slots for decorations, and some of the weapon types have 15% positive affinity. I wonder how Diamio's weapons are gonna turn out on Sunbreak because after looking at each of these weapon types, the stats are all over the place. Doesn't have like this consistent stat. Something like let's say if you think about Shogun Cyanatar, you can expect that it has long white sharpness on the weapons. For Diamio Hermitar, it could just be like high bonus defense or maybe good water element. You get the idea. Anyhow, regardless of the weapons, Diamio Hermitar is a fun monster to hunt. As you can see, it has a giant horn skull on its back, it's from an old monster Monoblos. With its giant shell, it uses it to charge at you and sometimes Diamio would burrow underground and thrust you upwards with its horns just like a Diablos. Obviously, it moves like a crab, it will swing at you with its giant claws and sometimes even grab you if you're not careful. It would also jump up high up in the air and do a body slam at you and this move really killed me lots of times back then. Just like a Shogun Cyanatar, it can also do a water cannon straight from its mouth. And just like from the trailer, you can see that it uses its giant claws to protect itself. However, you can always use a sonic bomb to stagger Diamio from its defensive position. When it comes to master rank difficulty, in the old generation, Diamio Hermitar is on the same level of difficulty with monsters such as Lagombi and Royal Ludra, essentially the early stages of master rank. If that's the case, we have another variety when it comes to farming early master rank armor sets besides Shogun, Cyanatar, and some alloy sets. Anyway, Tiamya Hermitar is quite decent if you're looking for a guard skill for your mix set or ballistics and recoil down for your range weapons. Other than that, I'm happy to see another crab from the old generation that's returning on Sunbreak. Other than that, we also have Gormagala here. Check out this next video as I share you more about Gormagala on Sunbreak.